Hi dear Gemini, let's go ahead and raise our vibration by taking a beautiful deep breath in. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Divine Source. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Dear Gemini, we're going to go through what, what blocks you have in your love life, and then we're just going to go from there. Thank you so much. I feel like already I'm seeing Native American cultures. Um, I'm seeing um, battles lost. I'm hearing the train. I'm hearing a horn on the train. And so I do believe with finances coming out, you might not be financially secure, stable, and the arguments might be happening in your love life. Or you might be focused more on the money than you are on love right now, whether you're single or coupled up. But also, remember that when you are not responsible for someone else, like you're single, and you're able to really just be responsible for yourself or your children right now, that that really is a blessing in disguise because you're able to really focus more on your own finances and, um, and just not have to take someone else's consideration into account and uh, that's a big deal um, and sometimes we don't see that when we're single but you know that blessing is being able to spend the money that you earn the way you want to and your your idea of responsibility and that could be very different when you are married or when you are in a partnership with someone you know, you do have to consider the, the finances um, from both sides. You have to consider their feelings, their ideas on how to do money, how to manage your money, how, you know, if you can be a business owner versus an employee, you know, so it's, it's, it's a, that's a big, big deal. I know that coming into October, there is a release, I feel. I feel like there's really a culmination in what you dreamt for, what your dreams, your hopes are for, and how to really um, invest and how to realign um, with friends becoming lovers and are you really friends in your relationship, yeah, the battle, the battle, the battle. So I really do feel with this being here, some of you are being just bogged down by the bills and the responsibilities of life. And just know this, that even though it's tough, um, right now, financially, stability and security is within your hands. It's within your grasp. And I feel like this storm literally is, in a way, it's, it's allowing you to come full circle with some things in your life. It's allowing you to see that Maybe it's better off that you're single right now or maybe it's better off that you're together right now because if you were single, it would be that much more difficult and you're able to lean on each other. And some of you are just seeing that, you know what, I can't lean on you because you don't have a job and this is rough right now and we've got responsibilities and so the lesson that I'm learning is we have to manage our money better or... Um, maybe we have to crawl before we walk and we just have to receive and accept a position that 
we really don't want to do right now, but we need the income coming in. And maybe um, the storm of financial hardship is helping you understand your responsibility to yourself and your responsibility to divine source. And um, definitely if you have children, your children as well, but to each other. So yeah, there's a lot of the battle for many of you is definitely here. Just remember though that that storm, this too shall pass. A good time to go on an adventure with the spirit of the emu. And you know what? It doesn't have to be this adventure that's going to put you in a financial, you know, hold or, or uh, restraint. But it can just be an adventure in the house. It can be a picnic on the living room floor that's dinner but you just do it in a way that there's an adventure there. You might have movie night, family night, couples night inside the house. Kids have to be in their room or, you know, you're making a plan to have a date. Get dressed up and really, um, even if you're in the house or you're in your backyard or something like that, um, that you're able to just make it um, more pleasant. I also feel like some of you are releasing yourself from the toxic love because mid-month for you, there's true love. Give or take 72 hours of the 16th, certainly thereafter, um, there's a new beginning. And it's a new beginning in the type of love that you really want. And it's definitely true. It's definitely real. And I feel like when you're doing something, when you're doing what you need to to get this homeostasis, this harmony back in your relationship life, you might even be open to joint accounts. And sometimes it's the complete opposite because you realize there's been spending from a partner that you didn't know about. And um, and that could be really rough. That's really toxic. But remember this, that no matter what financial storm is hitting your love life right now, and you also may feel like, you know, well, I'm broke. No one's going to want to be with me. I can't afford to even take anyone out on a date. There's a lesson in there that do you really even want to be with someone who isn't going to be there for you when the chips are down? Thank you so much. Thank you so much. But pray for the void to be replaced. That toxic, unhealthy relationship that you've got to release, it's karmic. And pray for the relationship but pray for the void to be replaced by the loving bonds and the healthy, balanced connection that you have. And here's your affirmation. I ignite the fire within me that connects me to the divine fire element. With 14 here. This is... Karma. There is definitely energy here that is going to be a with or without you type of a next step forward. And at the end of the month, there I feel like there is this release that many of you will have in what's out of balance is physical and spiritual. I feel like you're really questioning, are we together on physical? Did we get married because of, we, had, you know, one of you got pregnant or you felt like, well, we've been together for so long. 
we need to stay together or are you single and you're feeling that once you get in a relationship everything will kind of balance itself out and you'll have resources there financial from your partner and The toxic part of your love life just may be that you're walking away from toxic love or the fact that you're healing yourself so that you won't walk into another toxic love relationship. But this adventure also is a self-love re-evaluation of what you really want. I pray that this really helps you. I pray that this gives you some kind of a balance and some type of way forward. And let me just, before we end, let me give you the energy so that you'll have the best, the most stable footing there. So Gemini, I really feel that you come into October with this culmination, a need to release um, friends from lovers, whether it's physical or spiritual or both, um, whether you're, not, you're united, um, you're equally yoked, and also whether this is really what you wanted. What is it that you really desire out of relationship and out of your need for relationship life what does that really mean to you do you need to be in a relationship with someone else do you want the companions companionship the intimacy and um and how that's manifesting for you because the the middle of the month you've got this energy of this new beginning this ability to really to just really forge this new alliance with um, someone that you are equally yoked with, that you have this renewal of partnership that is just founded in true love and soulmate, certainly twin flame energy that makes you feel like a child. It makes you feel just I'm totally in love kind of energy. And at the end of the month, there's this, this blue moon, rare, full culmination and release in... Um, spirituality and the fears that you've held on to and being able to just let go and let the most high show you what you truly deserve in your relationship life whether you're coupled up or single and Gemini let me just say that you truly do deserve the very best and you're never too old and it's never too late to really be blessed with the type of love that is united both physically and spiritually and divinely timed and divinely ordained. So I pray that if there's anything that I can do for you that you absolutely click the links down below and that you have an exceptionally beautiful month.